Good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. I am so numb right now, all right? I had three hours of unexpected dental work, and my left side of my face feels like a machamp. It feels like a Mushroom Kingdom castle. It feels massive. I probably look fine, but it just feels super weird. I have to make the show, though. I can't leave you hanging. So here we are with a good episode of Good Morning Mario. Lots of interesting stuff today. Some people are pissed off. Some new games were announced and confirmed. And a mysterious, strange eShop edition just happened. And we got to talk about it. So what's going on, everybody? Hey, it's Zach from Switch Force. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And hopefully you are not numb. Open your heart. I love you, all right? High five for a little bit of like button action. Smash that thing if you enjoy the show and let me know in the comments down below how you feel about today's topics. All right, we're gonna roll right into it because uh, I just, this is just, it just feels so weird and I, I feel like I look weird. I don't think I look weird, but let me know, okay? Can you tell? Can you tell? If I didn't tell you, could you tell? Well, I can tell that Animal Crossing fans are pissed off, all right? Because there is a new Animal Crossing update but it's not in the game. Today, Puma tweeted that they've got a partnership with Animal Crossing and Nintendo of America retweeted this. Now on the surface, this is pretty sweet. Puma is a cool sportswear company and they're collabing with Animal Crossing. That's freaking awesome. And they're putting out a really cool pair of shoes, a nice minty green sweatshirt, t-shirts and more. The full collection will be revealed soon, but fans took to Twitter. With over a thousand replies, people are not happy and they're telling Nintendo, this ain't what we wanted. How dare you release a new thing that's not in the game. And look, I get it because Animal Crossing New Horizons is something that I've fallen in love with over the past year and a half and I feel like they have not delivered in 2021. But I really chalked it up to the pandemic and I trust Nintendo when they said in July that they are bringing more content later this year. Please be patient, thank you. So I am expecting something to happen pretty darn soon for this game. At that point, if it's not a major update, if it's not a substantial addition, yeah, then I'll say thumbs down. But right now, I'm pretty interested in this Puma collaboration. Although I know it does look a little bad when Nintendo is announcing this and not giving updates and people feel like they've been betrayed. But at the end of the day, I really just think the pandemic threw everybody's plans so off course, this is not how they wanted the year to go. And I'm fingers crossed that they'll be back with bigger, better stuff this fall. Hashtag trust switch force. And let me know if you're gonna get in on this Puma collab in the comments down below. And let me know if you're pissed off at Nintendo for even saying anything, or if you think it's cool that they're doing something while we wait for their new developments. Gamescom is rumbling on over there in Germany. And there were new announcements today as part of IGN's awesome indies showcase. All right, a couple ones that I wanna highlight, including a substantial third party game that kind of got tacked on to the indie vibe. We've got Blasphemous getting new DLC and a sequel in 2023. Blasphemous 2 will be out then. The first game is fantastic. It's like side-scrolling Dark Souls, but you do need to be able to stomach a lot of blood and a lot of weird religious vibes. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you can get past it, the actual gameplay is really freaking cool. Also draw attention to Oaken, which is a tactical turn-based roguelike deck builder. It's a whole bunch of buzzwords, and it sounds like it was invented by a PR team, but in fact, the game looks really darn nifty. It's got a beautiful art style and it's got this like grid based system. It seems like it's gonna be super cool and it is arriving on Switch. Two Switch titles stealth drop today. That would be Townscaper, which is a very chill vibes building game and Super Animal Royale, which is an animalistic battle royale. Both those games are out on Switch right now and, and I just love that they do that better than anybody else in the business. Nintendo loves to just have games be announced and games be released. It's really darn cool. It's also really cool when something we talked about, predicted, and discussed here is officially confirmed. It lets you know that, hey, Good Morning Mario, yup, it's the source for all stuff Switch. And so today, when they confirmed that Dying Light Platinum Edition is coming to Nintendo Switch, boom, baby. We called it a couple weeks ago. We talked about a leak where we saw that Dying Light was getting a complete edition on the Switch. Now, the team over there at Techland has not yet revealed the release date. So I'm wondering if this is gonna be incorporated in the coming Nintendo Direct. 
It would make sense that this is a game that you want to highlight for the holiday season as it's pretty popular. And Dying Light 2 is releasing later this fall. So there'll be a lot of buzz around this franchise and it'll be a good get for Switch. But I'm glad it's coming. If you haven't played Dying Light, even though the game is a few years old, it's still a very good time, especially in the co-op sphere. It's also very graphic and gory, and you do go to town on a lot of zombies, but Nintendo Switch could always use more third-party titles, so I'm here for it. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna pick up Dying Light, or if you've already played the game, or if you're gonna double dip. I'd love to know. Quick mention for one of my watery friends, all right, Blastoise is finally coming to Pokemon Unite. The third form of Squirtle is dropping down on September 1st. This is the character that a lot of players have been waiting for. It is a Gen 1-er, and it's a really cool addition to the game, or at least it looks like it's gonna be, and you'll be able to play it in just a couple days time. Pokemon Unite still seems to be going strong. I see a lot of people still talking about their matches and they're adding new Pokemon frequently and bringing in a lot of cool costumes. I really haven't hopped aboard the train. It's just not really my thing, but I'm glad that a lot of people like it, and it's a nice free-to-play game on Switch, adding something extra to the 2021 mix. All right, Nintendo, they finally decided to update the eShop. They decided to add something to the online service. Is it the GBA games? Is it themes? No, but it's a new app, and I found this to be really, really interesting. All right, so today, Nintendo decided to update their Nintendo Switch Online app offerings. This is a part of their program that has been often criticized because they're missing things like Netflix. It took them a long time to get YouTube and they just don't have a lot of the simple apps that the other consoles have always had, but today they added one, Pokemon TV. Now this is an interesting choice because it's obviously only Pokemon. It's hundreds of episodes of the animated TV show as well as animated specials and you can download it and go ham but you could have ham, turkey, and some mashed potatoes if they would add Netflix, then you could have a little bit of everything and more than just the Pokemon series. It's peculiar how Nintendo decides to structure their online offerings and what they decide to focus on and add, but it's clear that Nintendo stuff gets preference. I feel like Nintendo kind of wants everything to operate in a bit of a bubble, right? Like they have branched out to a lot of indie devs, they've had outreach there and third parties, but like they're building their own theme park. They're making their own movies. They've got their own apps. And Pokemon TV, yes, was on mobile devices before today, but it's being added to Switch for the first time. And, and it's a fun get for kids. I can see a lot of youngsters really enjoying watching lots of Pokemon. Even people around my age going back for some nostalgic flair to see some of those original first episodes. But when you're missing so many features that many players have been clamoring for and asking for and requesting and begging and hammering on the keyboard, on internet forums, Twitter, and my video comments, it feels a little bit out of touch. Like, yeah, this doesn't prevent them from adding the other things, but I'd love to see Nintendo put their efforts toward adding things that fans are asking for, that players want. Yes, Nintendo Switch Online is cheap, and so it's kind of like, well, whatever, whatever they do. But at the same time, you still have to pay for it. It's still a service, and it still should try to be the very best, like no one ever was, or at least try to be half best, because right now I'd say it's about a quarter best, and I'm counting on that September Direct to deliver much more in the online department. I guess if you want to view this as something that they're just adding outside of the next major Nintendo Switch online update, then cool. It is a lot more Pokemon content in a year where Pokemon is powerful. We got Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, Legends Arceus right around the 2022 corner, and it is the 25th anniversary, so this does add up. I just need more. Let me know if you're gonna grab Pokemon TV and either relive some of your favorite memories or make some for the very first time. Oh gosh, my mouth is really starting to hurt. Like. My jaw was open for three hours, so we gotta make some moves here, all right? Community poll time, I post them every evening, and last night I asked you guys, when do you think the next Direct will happen? I gave you all the weeks of September, and then after September, and surprisingly, 48% of you picked after September. You ain't got no faith in a Direct this coming month, but I'm telling you, this is the month Nintendo loves to use. It's perfectly situated between summer and E3 and the holiday shopping season, and I really firmly believe that they are gonna bring it. I picked 9.8 to 9.15, along with 18% of you. The next most popular choice was actually the third week of September, garnering 21% of the vote. The first week got 8%, and the fourth week got 6%, but again, most of you, nearly half, don't think it's happening anytime soon. And I'm here to tell you, 
It is. Nintendo really loves September, and I would bet my teeth on the fact that they'll have a direct in September. Maybe that's a dangerous bet, especially after today, but I'm going for it, all right? I really think it's gonna happen soon. No matter what though, I'll be back soon with more Nintendo goodness. I love you guys. I appreciate you spending time with me. I feel like we're here, even on days where my mouth is really starting to hurt and I'm numb and maybe I look goofy or I'm not on time. I just, I love y'all for being here with me and accepting me and loving me and I love you right back. So make sure you're having a great day out there. All right, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive. I love you a lot. Hit that like button on your way out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And until next time, everybody, Switch Force out.